Welcome to The Real Estate Show. I am Charles Botenston, your host. Every single week, hopefully every single week, we're gonna be coming to you with the biggest news in the residential real estate marketplace here in New York City and globally. We are starting off in a slightly depressing mood. The foreclosures in New York City has actually reached the highest level since 2009. 2017 foreclosures represented a 58% year-over-year increase and the third highest in the last decade. Staten Island, sorry about that guys, but you saw the largest increase of out of all the boroughs at a 134% uptick. Queens and Bronx saw a respective 40 and 44% increase. Manhattan, we remained relatively flat. Going to the Manhattan Resi sales volume, which is actually down 13%. This is a big indicator of the amount of absorption rate, which is the amount of buyers absorbing the amount of inventory on the marketplace. Residential sales in Manhattan during the fourth quarter is down 13% from a year ago. The call marketplace was actually the most robust at 52% of all the closings. And of course, Lower Manhattan, which is getting the least amount of inventory added right now, had the highest number of closings at 25% and the most expensive market with an average of $1,700 a square foot. The condo prices on the high end, super luxury, activity looks like it's coming to an end. It's actually the first time that the average price dipped below $2 million and the wave of contracts signed in 2014 and 2015 during the luxury development boom is coming to an end. The average price of those apartments of the ultra luxury dropped 25% on average. Manhattan's office rents saw its first decline since the Great Recession. It's actually down for the first time in seven years. Lower Manhattan was the only place that we saw an uptick in average rents. And this is a big part. Hudson Yards Manhattan West supplanted the Plaza District as Manhattan's most expensive sub marketplace. New York Times found a tenant to take over roughly 140,000 square feet of their headquarters here in New York City. It's gonna be LiquidNet, a trading network that specializes in dark pool exchanges. Vornado is actually allowing Facebook to take over more of its building at 770 Broadway. Facebook right now has a $537 billion market cap, the largest tenant in the building. And their neighbor, ironically enough, is the original internet king, AOL. The city plans to remove and demolish the seaport building that's been sitting vacant for a number of years. The new market building obviously has been called into question for stability because the piles have been deteriorating for many years. It was constructed in 1939 as part of the Fulton Fish Marketplace. A Texas-based developer took control of the seaport in 2010 through a long-term lease with the city. They're gonna be taking that down and putting something else up, which is gonna be into question. Street Easy, everyone's favorite website. Well, apparently the traffic might be starting to slide. Zillow, who acquired Street Easy for $50 million in 2013, made its most aggressive moves this year in actually monetizing the website. They brought on Premier Broker, Premier Agent, and the New York City Rental Network, and they charged every single rental listing $3 a day per day per listing. So when you're one of those big brokerages or you're a management company, that starts to add up. According to Similar Web, which tracks traffic online, said that it dropped as of November 30th, almost 45%. Street Easy said that Similar Web's figures are completely inaccurate. Quantcast, another traffic analyzing website, said that Street Easy's traffic is down 12% year over year. And Alexa, owned by Amazon, slid, it slid 1,600 spots on its traffic organizing website. So whether that's going down because there's less buyers, there's more buyers using brokers, or the amount of an inventory with the absorption rate is to be seen. We'll find out in 2018, but being that there's less homes trading, according to obviously what we talked about before, less people might be using Street Easy less. So that's our first show, The Real Estate Show. I am Charles Botenston from BPI here in Midtown. If you guys have any questions, shoot us an email. Let us know what story you found most interesting and obviously leave your feedback, questions below or at charles at botenston.com. Have a great day. Speak to you guys next week.